Good evening. So, I'm sorry, I'm all covered up in my little, little blanket. I love it. And, um, I've been meaning to do a video about this case for so long, but it's such a complicated case, and um, I've been following it for years. I was uh, 18, 20 years old, I think. I was 20 years old when it happened, and by you know, all know the case of Matt, Madeline McCain, very reminiscent of the Bennett, uh, um, the John Bennett case. Uh, so there's this little girl who disappeared in 1997, early enough, 20 years apart, uh, no, 10 years apart. And the cases are very similar. That's why I always believed in the version that the parents did it, and um, the proof always pointed to it. And now there are more, even more disturbing things. So uh, why I'm t uh, talking about it now? It's because the UK police is doing a bad job. And breeding British people are bad mouthing Portuguese, saying nasty things about Portuguese instead of looking at the freaking parents who left their child alone in an apartment in a foreign country. I, I never do that. And I'd never do that. I'd never abandon my own child in an apartment in a foreign country. With a door open, come on, what kind of parent does that? But, uh, of course, we know that's an excuse. There was already a plan, and uh, it's easy to see that. And there's a lobby around the McCann's that I cannot understand. And you see the police and everyone saying Portuguese are incompetent. No, actually, they, they take to kind the best leads, but... The, people, British police interfering and all, always leading to the, the idea that they, the, the girl was alive when she was clearly dead. And um, it's, it's an insult that so many people donated and keep on donating to these people, making them rich when we all know that their daughter is dead. Worse, their country has so many children disappearing, being raped every single day, and they keep a, a file open looking for a girl that is clearly dead, and uh, they're spending so much money that could be used to save children that may still be alive that were really kidnapped. Now, the thing is, this case is very complicated, and... Um, I recently, well, not so recently, about a year ago, saw a documentary, The Boy with a Dragon Tattoo, and it kind of linked up everything that I already knew, that the parents were responsible for the death of the girl. Uh, we know that the dogs detected the smell of a corpse and blood in the apartment, that it was detected in the parents' car that they rented I think two or three weeks after the girl were disappeared, so if they were innocent, her bodies sent, the dead decomposing bodies sent, wouldn't be in a car that they rented weeks later. That wouldn't happen. So there's a lot of evidence pointing out to the McCann's as the culprits of her death. But also, it has been linked to Pizzagate, and um, there's a, an entire connection to the Podestas, to Clintons, and all that. And it's eerie how the suspects that the they they that from the reconstructions looked exactly like the Podesta brothers. Furthermore, the WikiLeaks proved that they were conclusively in Portugal at the time, and that they had connections to Freud. The, the same uh, man that was in contact with the McCann's. And now comes the more disturbing part. It's that after watching the, the, the documentary about the boy with his dragon tattoo, about a couple 
that was even considered poster child for gay parents, gay adoption, gay um, in vitro fertilization, they were actually predators. And I wasn't aware how predators groom their children, but I've, after seeing that and looking at the way the mechanics take pic took pictures of their daughters and spoke about her, the red flags are all there. They speak about her just like a product, like a predator would. The, the shots they do of her look exactly like those grooming predators do of their children. Of course, they're not taking naked pictures or not that we we're aware of. Those never were leaked out, but we see her daughter, their daughter clearly being groomed. And then we have the way the mechanics talk about the genitals of her, their daughter in the book. It's really disturbing. And how uneasy she feels about even bathing her, her daughter. Because to her, it's a neurotic thing. And it's really gross the way she talks about her daughter. They never see her as a person so much as, as a product. They always describe her physical attributes. So... I don't think that uh, spending this much money looking for a dead girl is going to, to help. But you can do justice. You can arrest the parents and sadly there are no powerful people involved. Um, of course this is all allegations, there is no proof, but there is a powerful lobby around the McCann's. They're, they're really protected, and you can see they're protected. Uh, they tried to discredit the, the man who tra trained the dogs, even though he helped solve some of the most high-profile cases in history. And his dogs never fail. And they tried to discredit the po Portuguese police. They tried to discredit one of our top investigators, his career and marriage was ruined because of the McCann's. And they tried to stall, stall the investigation on what happened to their daughter. Always, always uh, stalling the routes that they thought would hinder and endanger them. So if they really were looking for their daughter, they would have collaborated with the police. They wouldn't talk... Uh, about her in the past tense, they would, you know, the, 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 the entire thing is very suspicious. So please stop funding the, these people. They're rich. They, they, they made a fortune of, out of their daughter's death. That's messed up. Spend your taxpayers' money looking for children whose parents don't have that, that kind of money that kind of press uh, machine and they want their children, they will love them and they don't have the money, they don't have the support that the McCann's have and those children may still be out there. Madeline, she's dead. The dog smelled the death and regardless of who killed her, one thing is sure, that girl died. So stop going on looking for a wild goose chase, thinking that she wandered out of the apartment. Whatever theories you're coming up with, you should think about a theory that involves a corpse. That's what you should think, because those dogs, they smell death. They also smell death at uh, the car. There was DNA and blood evidence that it was Madeline's blood. So, please stop losing people's time and stop wasting taxpayers' money. Direct that money for children who may still be saved instead of trying to protect these criminals from their crimes, even if they weren't the ones murdering her. They are guilty of child neglect. Even, even, you know, just the fact that they left their children alone with the doors wide open for anyone to enter that apartment. That alone should be enough for a prison sentence. That's child neglect. I'm sorry, two and three-year-olds 
on their own in a foreign country with no one in? No. That's child neglect. Anyway, that's it for this video. Bye-bye.